Welcome back to Culture Express. Now, internet sensation, the piano guys are in China. The Utah-based group took some precious time off their Asian tour in Singapore and Malaysia to fulfill their Chinese dream, shooting a music video on the Great Wall of China. And Culture Express's Julian Walken caught up with them to show us the connection between Kung Fu and Chopin. Take a look. Big shout out to the Culture Express from the Piano Guys. John Schmidt, Stephen Sharp Nelson here. We love Culture Express. Yeah. The Piano Guys became an internet sensation by way of their immensely successful series of strikingly original self-made music videos. With John Schmidt on the piano and Stephen Nelson on the cello, the other two members of the team, Paul Anderson and Al Vanderbeek, work behind the scenes and are equally responsible for creating the highly original blend of classical music with pop that has become a trademark for the group. The Piano Guys are also famous for their imaginative mashup arrangements, including Cello Wars, a spoof of the Star Wars soundtrack and film, with Steven playing both the Jedi Master and Sith Lord, who come together for a cello fight. John and Steve, thanks, uh, you know, thank you guys for coming to our show. You are one of the most creative, eclectic, and versatile ensembles I've ever seen. Thank and you, John. The same thank is you. true of your instrument. This cello, I think, you should get an <laughs> Academy Awards for best instrument in a leading role. <laughs> well, right. thank you. I'd say don't give him a big head, though. Yeah, but why do you, uh, you know, why do you insist on getting so much out of the cello? Well, that's a good question, and, and it, everybody needs to know that I've named my cello. I named it two years ago. I named it Bruce Lee. Because I was so inspired by Bruce Lee's ability to innovate in his art, you know. And so this is a five-string, it's a custom cello. Uh, there's really nothing like it. And uh, it was so fun to be able to explore this instrument and create the signature sound of the Piano Guys, which is all created, with a few exceptions, by piano and cello. We wanted a different sound that was still accessible for people. So we wanted to be creative without going out too far and, and uh, missing the mark. Well, I think one of the reasons why for your success is that you guys are truly inspirational. You know, you a lot of your music videos are set in these really exotic, very historic <coughs> locales. But instead of using music to reinforce a melody or the mood of the mu the piece, your music, when is when I hear it, it sounds almost like a sacred offering to to the land, to the surrounding. <laughs> you know, wow. it it teases out all the emotions and history from from the surrounding. What's the connection between the place and your music? I think we found our press agent, oh, by the way. Wow, that was fantastic. great. That was really good. Well, because a lot of that's it. exactly. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, 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 say. please, please. I mean, that's exactly what we mm -hmm. desire to do when yeah. we when we create these songs. We we actually we actually we we're men of faith, and we we always say a prayer. We always say, you know, help us capture the spirit of of this people of this uh, culture. You know, when we did a, a tune for India, we're doing this tune for China. We really wanted to capture the the reverence for this for this wall and all the people that uh, built it and the people that died and this great land. And, and it filmed all over the world. Is there is there yeah. a thread connecting the the separate in individual places like music does connecting with the individual notes and the staff? You know, I think music is the great connector of all cultures and people. You know, fundamentally, music speaks all languages, particularly instrumental music. And for us to be able to visit Berlin and then Hawaii the next time, and, and like you mentioned, uh, filming an, an Indian cover, an Indian style cover, and then here on the Great Wall of China, it proves that music really knows no cultural boundaries. And that's so fun for us. Like what you said, it's, it's what, we wor what we write, we hope, inspires people uh, to, f for that unity, world, worldwide unity. And the music, we think, is an integral part of world peace. We really do believe that. It's, it's a great tool that we can all use to understand and appreciate each other more. One thing they do understand is that we all need a little suspense and some laughs at times. In their Mission Impossible spoof, they use the instruments as the Mission Impossible gadgets. It's a way of breaking the stereotypes that instrumentalists are austere and to bring joy to people. At least that's what the Piano Guys aspires to achieve through their latest music video featuring the Great Wall of China. There are among a number of artists who have recently been drawn to the Great Wall of China for their inspiration. Tom Cruise found his calling while promoting his latest film, 